with his salt eye control deck against Ronnie Rittner playing Black White Angels. Now, we saw Rittner a little bit earlier yesterday pick up his draw with his Black White Angels deck. Um, this deck looks pretty impressive. Thalia's Lancer, uh, you've got Gisela, you've got Bruna to be able to meld together to make Brazella. Uh, for Alian Trazi, well, he loves big mana strategies, big mana spells, so he does have good old Emrakul in his deck. There's a lot going on here, as we saw in his match yesterday as well. Yep. I would... I would imagine that Ali has a slight edge in this kind of matchup. I think he plays a slightly longer game, has a more powerful top end, interacts with Rittner's top end a little bit more reliably. But it is a lot of the, not necessarily the same cards, but the same style, same strategy. You can see the clock here, 18 minutes for these two players to finish game number three. So plenty of time left here. They will have to pick up the pace a touch maybe because things can get a little bit grindy, but should be able to finish this third game as Rittner is going to take a mulligan. Now, previously, given my history playing black-white control, this is the kind of deck I was pretty happy to play against. Mm -hmm. um, things are kind of grindy. You've got cards like Read the Bones. You've got good discard spells. You've got a lot of Planeswalkers, which plays a big role in things. But you had a lot of Planeswalkers like Gideon and Obnixilis and Soren. Less Planeswalkers here for Ronnie this weekend because he's playing more creatures. And Ollie's deck interacts with these creatures very reliably. Mm -hmm. He's got ultimate prices, languishes. He's not short on answers to random creatures no matter what their powers look like. Drowsy still deciding he's going to keep his seven. He looks like he's going to take a mulligan. Right now we'll take a look at six. It looks like he's going to keep this one. We'll see. I'm trying to take a look. Mm. It's five now for Ali. And this is a raw card count sort of matchup. Yes, it is. A lot of stuff's going to be trading and colliding. It's going to be hard for one of these players to just knock the other one out with one random card. So... These mulligans are excruciating. This is where a card like Painful Truths or Read the Bones is great. Because you just need cards, no matter what they are. I'm surprised that there aren't more copies of Painful Truths in Ollie's 75. He's only got one in the sideboard. This seems like a Painful Truths kind of deck. That's a little bit surprising to me, yeah. Let's see, both players are going to start with some lands under the battlefield. Tapped around Trazi, it was his and Quagmire. For Rittner, it was a Forsaken Sanctuary. Now he's got a Swamp and a Transgress the Mind. So, we'll take a look at Antrazi's hand. You see an Evolving Wild to traverse the Oofen Wall in the Forest. Can't take those cards, but you can take either Runa's Path or Obnixilis Reignited. And Obnixilis, really the only route in Ollie's hand here to recoup the lost cards. But a little ways away from that. Yep. There's the Evolving Wilds. And if Rittner didn't take it and he took the Runa's Path instead, I imagine Rittner's trying to land a Planeswalker of his own, and you can see in his hand right now that he has his own copy of Obnixilis. There's another Forsaken Sanctuary from Rittner. Antrazi is going to search up a Swamp with his Evolving Wilds. There's another Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn back over to Rittner. Rittner will draw. There's a Swamp kick it back. Now you think previously you're watching a black-white deck. If they were to land a Gideon here, the game might just end on the spot. Yep. But those days are over. Well, at least for now. No Gideons in this list. Has mm -hmm. to make room for more creatures and uh, possible with, with the power of spirits in Elder's Moon, people want to get away from Gideon for at least week one. We've seen very few copies over the course of the tournament. There is Jace Friend's Prodigy, a forest from Montrazi. He'll pass the turn back. Rittner does have removal spell. Ultimate Price will take care of the Jace. Case of Coilos, the draw. Here is the Caves. And now there's Obnixilis. That'll come down. Rittner will draw a card. Pay a light to do so. So he falls down to 19. Picked up a copy of Liliana, The Last Hope. A land, and now an Obnixilis here for Antrazi. So he will pay a light to draw a card. Now keep in mind, in Antrazi's hand, he does have a Dragonlord Slumgar. Rittner will pay a light to draw a card. Dragonlord could be a huge swing here. Oh, yeah. On Trazi, will pay a light to draw a card. Both players have Obnixus up to seven. There's a Sunken Hollow. 
This is Dragonlord Slumgar. Does Rittner have the removal spell for it? You see he's got Archangel Avacyn, but that doesn't help very much. Players in the Legacy Classic, your pairings are available online at pairings.com. Yep. He takes that, he loses it. There's Archangel Avacyn. Draw a card. There's Liliana. Got a plus there, so that Archangel Avacyn can go after Obnixilis. Now, Dragonlord Slumgar will die. There's a Shambling and pass the turn back. Now, keep in mind, earlier in this game, Rittner could have taken that Obnixilis, not ruin his path. It's really surprising to me. You know, you're, I understand Rittner had his own copy of Obnixilis you want to clear the path for, but when your opponent's on five cards in a control mirror, I think you should err on the side of take away the card with the highest ceiling. Yep. Like, Obnixilis is a path for Antrazi to crawl back in the game. If you play your Obnixilis and he untaps and ruinous paths it after you've drawn a card or killed something, like, okay, life goes on. Yep. Like, you're up a card and, you, you know, your opponent's still on five cards and what's his path to crawl back in? Now, Rittner is in a lot of trouble. Uh, Antrazi is approaching an Obnixilis ultimate and if Rittner can't clock him or put some significant pressure in some other way, that could just be the ball game. Yeah. I'm sure the thought process was I'll draw another discard spell or I'll draw a ruinous path or an anguish I'm making or something like that, but there's no guarantee of that. Yeah. And in fact, Antrazi's on eight loyalty right now. He's got a handful of cards. He's well, not a handful, but he's at least drawn a few cards here. And uh, Rittner is not really in a position to pressure him. How is he going to outrace an Obnixilis emblem? That seems very challenging. Top couple cards go to the bin. Archangel Avacyn's going to go back to the grip thanks to Liliana's minus two. There's a case of Coilus. And now Antrazi is going to have Delirium here for his Traverse because now an artifact's going to the graveyard. Now if he makes an emblem of Planeswalkers in the graveyard, now Traverse is Demonic Tutor. Yep. Close Al to it. Aladomri's call, whatever you want to call it. Sure. Drew a copy of Ishkana. Six mana. There's Dragonlord Slumgar again. Trust me when I say Dragonlord Slumgar is not the kind of card that Black White likes to play against. <laughs> oh, this, the loop. The Dragonlord Slumgar loop is now taking place. Trazi just going to pay left to draw a card. Keep up Nixus around. Yeah, if he can protect it for one more turn, then he can make an emblem and still keep up Nixilis in play. There's Archangel Avison. Well, Anguish on Making has finally shown up. Might be a little too late now, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, Antrazi's accrued a huge advantage here. I think Rittner might actually have Soren in hand. All right, this is kind of interesting. But remember, he, he knows about the Traverse from the earlier Transgress, mm -hmm. and Antrazi is at Delirium, so literally anything can happen. This is Ali Antrazi we're talking about. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> There's no telling what's going to happen next. There's Soren. Kill Dragonlord Slumgar. Avison's going to go somewhere. All right. Got to be taxing Obnixilis. Yeah. with Anguish on making available. Although keep in mind, Antrazi could finish off the Soren here. You can use Obnixilis to kill Avacyn, and then the Hissing Quagmire he has down can take care of Soren if he wants to go that route. Yep. Dragonlord Slumgar. Stack it. Yep, with that effect on the stack anguish I'm making. It's not the effect doesn't resolve at all. Rittner's out of cards, loses some life to cast it, but the Dragonlord Slumgar issue is taken care of. Obnixilis is going to take care of Avacyn, but now it's Soren versus Obnixilis. Plus, what's he find? A land, not with the Doctor Order. Does he have any shambling events down there? Yeah, he does. Take care of Obnixilis. Make sure he doesn't have to do it at the cost of a life, which he's got plenty of mana to do. So play a Plains Passive turn back. Unfortunately, not a second copy. So now his Soren is again exposed to the 
the quagmire. The hissing quagmire, yep. correct. Uh, the way Ali's counting mana would not make me feel easy. Counting mana and card types in the graveyard. Wonder what that's about. Could be anything. <laughs> Evolving Wilds. Oh, he just has Emrakul. He's just going to cast it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's our that's our first this weekend. Here it is. The we promise had, then. We had Ali on camera yesterday. He had some opportunities to cast Emrakul in what seemed like good spots. Passed them all up. Now we'll see how this goes. All right. So Antrazi is going to get Rittner's next turn. How <laughs> nice. Grasp of Darkness. All right. Well, I believe this will be turn on my Shambling Vent, minus two Soren on it, then grasp it. Yeah, it's, that it's all works. Solid. Yeah, he should just be he should just be empty after this. Yeah, Th this should just get everything. Yep, and I'll grasp that. Yep. Sweet. And I have a thirteen thirteen left over here. Yep. It's all it's all dead. Yep. Now you get your turn. Rittner will draw here in just a moment. I hope he draws off Nixilis because that's oh transgress. Nice. Take a oh it's uh never mind it's just Zella, which is worse than Emrakul. A slightly outclassed. Yeah, <laughs> and was you know taken over by Emrakul and everything else. Yeah, so many good plot arcs. <laughs> Here's an oath of chase. Draw three, discard two. One of those cards is Den Protector. I think this one might be a wrap. Yeah, Den Protector's got to be good enough here. A ruinous path. Yeah. Whatever. You see, Rittner's already reaching for his Gisela, assuming it's gonna die. Maybe stolen. There's Nissa. Get a forest. Then after he's done spinning the basketball on his finger, <laughs> then I think we're going to see the ruinous path. <laughs> Lumbering Falls will transform Nissa to the Sage Animist. Plus it. Top card. I believe a summary dismissal. There's ruinous path. Now the beatdown's for 13. Renner's down to 9. Is it Bruda? That is going to do it. Ali Antrazi is going to win this match over Ronnie Rittner. Two games to one. Salt Eye Control will take care of Black White Angels. And for Antrazi and his brew with Emrakul, 10-1. I think Rittner took what I would describe as an unnecessary risk in that game.